I'm Jillian Hemme with Piven Theatre Workshop, and I'm excited to get our day started with a little bit of movement. Today, we are going to play a theatre game called Mirror. Now, Mirror works best if you have someone in the same room as you, and if you do have someone who can play that game with you right now, why don't you call them over to the screen? You can even press pause and come right back. If you don't have someone who's in the same room as you, you can still follow along with this exercise and you can decide to try to play it with someone over FaceTime or Zoom or any other video messaging device. Or you can hang on to this game for later when you know you have someone to play it with. Why don't we go ahead and get started and I'll give you the directions as though someone is in the same room with you. All right. Ready? The first thing I'm going to have you do is stand in what we call at Piven a ready to play position. That means that you are standing with your feet slightly apart, knees slightly bent, standing up straight, eyes alive, ready to go. You're in a real neutral stance. If you play sports like baseball, you might be familiar with this kind of knee slightly bent, ready to play way to start an exercise, a practice, or a game. Face your partner. So you can either turn like this, you can both check in with the screen if you need to. And you're going to both be in a neutral ready to play position. And the first thing I'm going to have you do is connect with each other by breathing at the same time. Sometimes it can get a little tricky when you're looking right at someone's eyes. So don't think of it necessarily as staring at the person that's playing this game with you, but rather just taking in everything that they have to offer you with their minds and bodies and voices. So you can have that soft gaze at them and then take those breaths together. Notice how your chests start to rise and fall at the same time. Take another breath together. And now, while you're looking at your partner and you're mostly looking into their eyes, see if you can use your peripheral vision and get a sense of their entire body. What are their fingers doing? How do they, their fingers look when they're relaxed? And you're going to take five seconds right now and decide who is partner A and who is partner B. All right. Partner A, raise your hand. And partner B, shake your hand like this. All right. We are going to start with partner B. So partner B's job is to lead A in slow motion. So if I were partner B and I were leading partner A right now, I would start by moving my body really slowly because I want to make sure that A can see everything that I'm doing and follow along with me and do exactly what I'm doing at the exact same time. And when we're in mirror, everything counts. What are the angles of our fingers doing? What facial expressions do we have? And how can we mirror our facial expressions? How do you incorporate your whole body? 
not just arms, not just hands, but your legs, your toes, your eyebrows, your nose. How do you pick up all of that information and arrive at those mirrored movements in sync with one another? And now I'm going to ask A to take over and lead. So same idea, A. You're going to move in slow motion. In fact, I'm going to challenge you to move even slower than you think you need to. It might feel really, really, really slow at first, but it's your way of taking care of your partner and making sure that they have all the information they need to mirror you exactly. You're doing the same thing at the same time. Remembering to take care, right? If our partner has a sprained ankle, we want to make sure that we're moving in such a way that it doesn't hurt our partner's ankle, for example. And let's switch back to B. Partner B is now leading. Keep those slow, steady movements. Don't forget about your lower body. How can you get your knees? your ankles, your toes involved. Don't forget about your facial expressions, the angles of your body. Don't forget about your elbows, and your thumbs, and your pinkies, and your palms. We're going to switch. A is now leading. Take care of your partner. And B is now leading. And A. And what 
once you found that object and agreed upon it, how do you want it transformed into something else? And how do you use your muscles, like you're really holding that object, giving it space and weight? Still checking in with your partner? Still checking in with your breath? And how do you decide when your year ends? I that brings. Say, thank you, partner. Thank you, partner. Give each other an air five. And I'll give you an air five, too. Thank you so much for joining us again. This was so much fun. And uh, I'm glad that we got to play one of our favorite games together. I look forward to playing with you again soon. Bye.